Hello Unreal Engine Games developers. Today I'm going to show you how to create UI images that automatically adapt to whether you're using the gamepad or the mouse keyboard combo. With the added bonus that I'll show you where to get free images for your keyboard and gamepad glyphs. Let's get to it. So today I'm going to show you how you can create UI widgets that automatically adapt to show the right uh, button images, depending on whether you're using the keyboard or a gamepad. It's relatively straightforward, although there are a couple of issues that can catch you out. So I'll, uh, I'll show you those along the way. Um, firstly, let me show you the sample project I've got set up for this tutorial. I've just got a simple third person project and I've created a widget here called widget mission. It's um, just got a sort of a heading and a title at the moment, but I want to add in some instructions for which buttons to press to accept and reject the mission. Um, and also, as promised, if I go back to the um, Project Explorer, um, I said that I would show you a link to free images. So you see I've got these images here, or glyphs as they're known. So in the keyboard area, I've got all of the keyboard buttons. And I've also got Xbox game pad buttons here. So where I found these, if I go over to a browser, this company called Kitterface Software, I've kindly provided these for free. I've shown the link in the description below. And if you just click on this link, you'll get a zip file you can unzip and then drag it in to your project to use. So we'll be using those in a second. So the first thing we've got to do is figure out how to determine whether we are using a keyboard or gamepad. And uh, we can do that in the um, player controller. So let me go to my player controller and open it up. At the moment, you see I've just put in a begin play thing to show the widget when we start the project up. Um, now, what we can do is we can um, poll the keys that are pressed, and this includes gamepad keys and find out which type of input we're using. So to do that, we'll do an input any key event, even though it says keyboard events, it does actually capture gamepad events as well. And then Unreal Engine provides this very useful function. If we drag off key and type gamepad, we've got this function is gamepad key. And so if we're pressing a keyboard button, it returns false. If we're using a gamepad uh, button or axis, it returns true. So all we need to do is store this and then we can use it in the UI logic to switch between images. So let's create a new variable. In fact, probably can just promote this to a variable here and set it when the key is pressed. And let's give this a more useful name using gamepad. So we now have a Boolean that gets set depending on whether we're pressing a gamepad key or pressing a keyboard key. And let's just test this out with print string. Uh, print string and plug in that Boolean. And let's compile, save and test this out. So if I uh, use the key, any keyboard key, it, you can see it's putting out false, meaning I'm using the keyboard, not using the gamepad. But if I use the gamepad buttons, you'll see that it reports true. I'm using the gamepad. So now we have a flag that we can use in our UI. But you'll probably notice our first issue. I was pressing WASD on the keyboard and it's not moving the character. Uh, so if I come out play mode, I'll explain why that is. With this any key function, uh, or with any um, keyboard function, it's got this consume input flag. What that means is it will, it won't pass that on to any other function. So when we're pressing WASD, this any key event is getting it first and not passing it on to the character controller. So we need to uncheck this, compile and save. And now if I go into play mode and I press WASD, it moves the character with the keyboard. So that's the first issue you might have uh, come across. All right, so now we've got the um, we've got the sort of reporting of what whether we're using the keyboard gamepad. We want to implement that in the UI, uh, UI. So let's take out the print string. Let's put a comment around here to say using 
gamepad question mark and now in our um let's save that compile and save if we go to our widget we now want to add in some instructions for which buttons to press to accept and reject the mission so let me start off by putting a horizontal box in here and within the horizontal box we'll create a couple of text fields and in between those a couple of image fields so i'm going to say the first text block in fact let's make this whole horizontal box uh, centered and the first text box is going to say press space and the last text block is going to say space to accept so it's saying press these buttons to accept so the first image is going to be our keyboard image and if i go in here let's say it's the escape key so i'll look for esc so i've got the keyboard escape from those glyphs i downloaded they're a bit big so i'm going to halve the size to 64 by 64 and then our next image we're going to use the do the gamepad variation so this one i want to use the right trigger button so let's do next box we want to do right trigger and again let's make it 64 by 64. so we now have the two images in here but we don't want to display them both we want to display the escape key if we're using the keyboard and we want to display the uh, trigger button if we're using the gamepad so now what we want to do is we want to create bindings to these images that show them when the gamepad is used or not used so let's start off with the keyboard image here and we'll go down to visibility and bind to create a new binding function and what we want to do is we want to get our boolean from the player controller so let's do that in fact let's rename this one this is this is for the keyboard so let's call this one keyboard visibility if i can spell it keyboard visibility and we want to get the player controller the player controller zero is our player controller we want to cast it to my player controller we can make this a pure cast because i know it's always going to be that and finally we want to get the using gamepad boolean so now we have the current state of what we're using and now with a branch so b create a branch We'll take in our using gamepad and remember this is for deciding whether to show the keyboard buttons or not so if we are using the gamepad then we want to hide this button and then if i control w to duplicate it if we're not using the gamepad then we want to make this keyboard image visible and the visibility for the gamepad is going to be similar, but this is going to be reversed. So let's take these. In fact, let's just create a new function. In fact, can we duplicate this? Probably duplicate. There we go. And let's call this gamepad visibility. And we just really want to do this in reverse. So uh, we're getting the using gamepad. If it's true, we want to make this button visible and if it's false we want to make it hidden okay so let's give this a go let's go into play mode and it's showing both i i know that the reason for that is because i forgot to do the binding for the uh for the gamepad so let's go back to the designer view and choose our gamepad image and we want to go down to the visibility and bind this to gamepad visibility and we only want to show this when the gamepad's being used compile and save right now let's give this a go okay so we are using the keyboard and it only shows the keyboard buttons and if i then start using the gamepad it tells me i have to press the right trigger to accept so it has hidden the 
keyboard button. And if I go back to keyboard, that works as well. But there's an ugly gap in the UI where the other button would be. So we want to get rid of that. And again, this is the second thing that might have caught you out. Um, using hidden still shows the container, whereas there is an option called collapsed, which uh, removes the space. So if we go back to our functions, instead of hidden, we need to do collapsed. And same thing on the keyboard visibility, instead of hidden, make it collapsed, compile and save. And if we go into play now, it's nicely um, hidden away, the, the button that's not being used. So using the mouse and keyboard, now using the gamepad, switched over to right trigger button and going back to keyboard mouse switch. So now anything we want to add, we can simply add those bindings to those images. So if we wanted another um, line on the, in this UI that said press to reject, we can copy this horizontal box, paste it below. And this time, instead of the escape, we'll do to reject in the text. And instead of escape to reject, we might do um, tab, for example. Probably should be the other way around, actually. And for the, for the right trigger, maybe we use the B button. And again, I'm making it half the size, 64 by 64. Okay, and let's just check the binding. So for the keyboard key, visibility, I need to make that keyboard visibility, visibility only. And for the B key, I need to make the visibility, gamepad visibility. Compile and save, and then let's go in and test this out. Okay, so it's showing me the keyboard glyphs as I'm using the keyboard. And if I now switch over and start using gamepad, it's updated the glyphs to hide the keyboard ones and show the gamepad ones and then back to keyboard. So it's pretty straightforward. I hope you found it useful today and stay tuned for the next one. See you then. Bye for now.